I'm back! I know you guys were not expecting two videos this week, but I remember I promised you guys that I'll release two videos, I think it was two weeks ago. So I thought to sneak up on you guys when you least expect it and present to you Sexology episode 4. So our Sexology series has been going on for a while, so this time around I decided to do a very interesting topic. You know what, we're going to speak as freely as we can. If you're one of those holier than thou, this might not be the episode for you to watch. Perhaps that's why I released it on Friday, because we are going to be very honest with each other. So what is the worst thing you've ever done to prevent getting pregnant? Ladies, I'm sure your brain is probably thinking, ah, that one time I thought I was pregnant. Unwanted or unplanned pregnancies can be a lot to do with. I mean, come on. Everyone likes to have a good time. You have a boyfriend, you're sleeping with him, there's no long-term plan between the both of you, but you're having sex. You know, some of you guys rely on the pull-out method, rely on using a condom, which is safe, and some people just decide to fly blind. When your period has missed, your whole life is about to end like anyone who can relate i've done a vlog about this before when you're looking for your period it's worse than looking for money you're like oh lord if you save me from this i promise you lord i'll never have sex anymore ha! you now begin to remember god the god you could not remember while you were having sex ha! then you now remember the style how long the sex went on for did it come in me what position did i take ha! was that ovulating ah you now become a master calculator those people who think oh ovulation starts seven days after no it's 14. then you now start asking your friends ah what are the early signs of pregnancy? Google becomes your friend as well. You start to Google signs of pregnancy. Ah, I'm paying a lot. Ah, my lower abdomen is paining me. Ah, what am I going to do? And this guy, I can't tell him. Well, we can all relate because it's happened to every single person. If you're old enough to have sex, if you're having sex and you're having unprotected sex, at some point in your life, you would have had the pregnancy scare. So this week on sexology, we're talking about pregnancies and contraceptives and we're going to be very honest with ourselves. But guys, we get to know some tricks that we ladies do. If he comes in you almost immediately, you're jumping out of bed like something is chasing you and you're, you can't tell the guy that, oh boy, I don't want carry the leg. Do you understand? You're acting like a hard guy. So you're just like, yeah, I'm just going to pee for a second. And in the bathroom, you're like, oh Lord. Then you take the shower head, put the shower head inside your punani and make sure punani is vagina, right? So keep up to date. And I'm not going to scale anything or water anything down. We're going to speak as frankly as we can. You now put the shower head in there, increase the water. You start to wash out every single thing that might be hiding there. Any sperm, come out, die. We've all done it before, haven't you? Mm? Or once the guy comes in you, then you now say, ah, morning after pill. You know that famous morning after pill that everybody runs for? It's a form of contraceptive. They're like, ah, it's even good for 72 hours. So if you forgot the first day, then you can take it the next day and you'll be fine. Whoa, be tired, you. The day your period is supposed to come, it doesn't come. Ha! You now begin to scratch your head. But I used it now. But I took it now. Ha! But I used it. And it wasn't 72 hours. It was like 24 hours after I used it. You know, there's some kind of babies that have chosen to come to the world. Either you like it or not. If you like, run to every chemist and use any form of contraceptive known to man. There are some children that have decided that, you know what? Today, your bad, 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 bad things is going to catch up with you because I am coming. As much as you do all you think you know, all these things, they'll say it's 99%. So many people have used it, yet they have gotten pregnant. So many people have taken all sorts. There's one pill, eh? Ah, dear mommy, if you watch this vlog, please don't judge me. We had one house help like this. You know, I like to just, hmm, Ramota. Wherever you are, she was gangsta. Like, I was so young at that point. I wasn't even having sex. But the kind of things this lady used to do, clearly she was having sex. I mean, come on, I was young, but I knew she had this boyfriend that used to live down the road. And you know how sometimes you catch your household doing something bad, they become your bitch. Like, they can't report you to mommy anymore. If you want something, just be like, give me. If she says no, I'll tell mommy you have a boyfriend down the road. Give me this thing, I'll tell mommy your boyfriend came to the house. So we became sort of close, and I knew she had a boyfriend. And I remember one time I saw her drinking gin. <laughs> like, dry gin. She finished the whole bottle of gin under three seconds. I was like, I was probably about maybe 12. 13 at that point and you know she was drunk and then she starts to eat lime as well now she now goes when you grow up and when you have sex with your boyfriend always drink gin after and lime if you drink the gin you will never get pregnant you will wash away your stomach nothing will stay i promise you from that day my life was never the same again i obviously believe that you know lime and gin was also some form of 
preventives, okay? If you don't want to get pregnant, you drink a bottle of gin and you eat lime. Every other time I saw her drink the gin, I knew she had had sex. Yeah, imagine the kind of memory I have. Parents, do not leave your kids to be raised by house elves. No shade, mom. No shade. Ramata continued on this uh, journey until one time, four months later, my mom found out she was pregnant. Clearly, the gin and the lime was not a good idea. So you have people tell you all sort of crazy things like that. Hey, as soon as the guy comes, just stand up, shake it off, shake your ass. The thing will drip out. They say there's some form of injections you can take like a day after you have sex. And if you take it, you totally not get pregnant. I've never tried it before. I don't know if you have comment section is there you can leave it as a form of contraceptives there are different kind of contraceptives there there's the coil there's the 30 day pill i would advise that you go to see a doctor and find out what works for your body type some people will get on the pill because their friends are using the pill and they start to add weight some people their period now becomes so irregular you don't even know if you are pregnant you know you see your period once in three months because of one contraceptive you're using the reason why i'm sharing all of this with you is to let you know that all those crazy things people tell you they're all lies the only way to play safe is to wear a condom to tell your boyfriend to wear one this is the only safe contraceptive that me i know about too because all those other ones they tell you use in 48 hours 72 hours people have used it and gotten pregnant People have been so sure of themselves that, come on, I can't be pregnant now. I used it. There's one crazy pill that was also scrapped by NAFDAC. This pill was an abortion pill. I promise you it was. And they used to sell it in like dingy chemists. Don't ask me how I know because I've never used it before. But I hear things. Alcohol is the biggest myth you hear. Durex condom is not that expensive. It's the surest and safest contraceptive ever. Well, that's all I'm going to talk to you guys about this week. Thank you for tuning in. I like to surprise you guys, so I will be doing this a lot more. Two videos in a week. Maybe on Wednesday and Friday. Ah, I'm so pretty. Oh Lord, I'm fine. Oh God, thank you for making me fine. Goodbye!